Yeah. I go where I want good. Yeah. I go where I want good. Yeah. I go where I want good. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, or if you are new, welcome. What we are looking at is my little kitchen nook. Today we are going to finally transform this space and bring in the elegance. But before we do that, let's go back to where we started. So I purchased this home as a fixer upper. So like with everything, this room has just been a gradual improvement. It started very dated tile floors and those yellow beige type walls. I knew the first thing I wanted to do was change out the light fixture. This one was from Ikea. So I installed that along with painting the walls brighter and updating the floors. Over time, it kind of became just like that discarded catch-all type area. I've had my old furniture from my apartments in there. It's functional, so I'm, I'm a fan. Y'all already know, I use what I have until I see exactly what I want. Um, so that space just has not been a place of design just yet. I finally ripped the band-aid off and decided to paint that back wall black. And that just made that portion of the room pop so much more and really kind of separated it from the rest of the kitchen. And now we're here today. Who's ready for some new vibes? So I want to thank Cassery for partnering up with me and sponsoring today's video. Cassery is a modern furniture company that crafts pieces intended for our real lives so that you can create a space to thrive in. When it comes to home design, we are constantly told to fit the mold, adhere to what is trending, and just aspire to someone else's idea of design and perfection. Cassery creates furniture that fits our real lives, not forcing our lives to fit our furniture. They have so many different beautiful pieces, but here is what I chose for my space.
these curtains have definitely been a temporary placement. Some I already had just to just to have for privacy. My entire home has the Linda curtains from Ikea, which sometimes are not in stock. And I'm still kind of on the fence. A part of me wants to do something a little different in that space, but I went ahead and just brought in a pair that I already had in a different window in the house, just to fill out the vibe and see if I want to keep that flow going in the kitchen nook. Okay, y'all know how it goes. Let's talk about a couple of things. First of all, I have been talking about attracted to, drawn to the boucle. I've said this in so many hauls when I run across a nice boucle piece, y'all. So I have had my eye on these chairs specifically for a long time. I absolutely love the chairs. Love the chairs. These chairs are heavy and solid, y'all, and the best part about them. And for my thick girls, I was a little bit nervous if the hips would fit. I just sit straight into it. This chair is so comfortable, y'all. It's giving, I make the decisions around here. <laughs> now a few things. I wanted to wait until I got the chairs in the space to like finally decide if I'm going to play with this table some more or just go for a round table. The chair size and the space that I'm working with is definitely calling for a round table for more leg space, obviously. So this table is just not going to be very functional. Although I actually still think it's beautiful. I love the wood tone on the snow color. I absolutely love that. Just in this particular space, I think that a round table will make it feel more seamless. Tell me what y'all think about that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be on the hunt next for a round table for the kitchen nook. Now for the light, I love the light. I love the light. I had this internal battle, right? Whether I wanted to just get like a statement piece for this area, like not nothing too crazy. Like I'm not a glam girl, I don't, you know, none, none of that, but just think something like this, but on a bigger scale, maybe two bulbs and a more unique design. But I really decided to just go with simplicity. So it just gives that illusion of something very minimal, simple, timeless, and classic. I love it. Tell me what y'all think about the light. It's like 50 bucks off of Amazon. I will link it if y'all want me to. I kind of mimicked this one and it actually did come from the same company as well. Now for the curtains, I really just like last minute decided to switch these out. This is actually a pair from the area that I don't use yet because these Linda curtains are very, very often out of stock at my Ikea. I said, let me just put them up and see how I feel about these in this space before I Either order them online or just keep an eye out so I can buy another set. There's a part of me that kind of wants to go with a different color, nothing crazy, still neutral, but to kind of bring some color to the space. But I also love the crisp, clean 
creams. I love the clean white look and being able to add color to it to kind of bring it to life. I think I'm gonna start using this wall y'all as just like an accent. Well it's an accent wall anyway. <laughs> what, I'm, what I mean is I think that I am going to start playing with changing the color of this wall because I don't think I'm gonna feel like a big black wall for the holidays. I saw this picture on Target's website and this sage color of green it just gave me so much fall cozy so i might not do like that exact color but i might as well what do y'all think about that in my old apartment i had a wall just like this where i would literally get wrapping paper around christmas time i would always change out like i did the downstairs bathroom last year i had one specific wall in my last apartment where every year i literally just had fun with it and it just brought so much life to the room depending on the season so i think that to bring in some color to this corner i am going to use this accent wall as in addition to the decor that I'm doing. It definitely just feels so much more luxe, cozy, and luxurious in this corner here. And that's what I wanna go with. Next, we are doing the fall decorate with me, y'all. So that is coming. We are going to bring in more of those warm tones. Thought of a plant here, right? I tried to put that plant up there, but that planter hanger, it was given boho. And that's not what we're doing in this corner here. So I had to take that down. But in my mind, I kind of see two hanging plants, whether it be ferns, probably not for this season. I try to minimize the extra greens I bring in around this time because they don't really mesh well with the cozy warm decor but I also do not move the plants I already have they just gonna have to deal with it <laughs> but yeah tell me what y'all think of this kitchen nook refresh I will tell you this is probably what we would consider a part one because this is kind of like adding some new pieces that bring up more inspiration that really just gave me so many more ideas for the next phase of this space. That back wall, I don't wanna do too much, but there are three things that I'm thinking will probably do with it. Would either be a floating shelf type situation with decor, a very large mirror, or a piece of art but there's also just a part of me that wants to leave it alone because what I've been practicing in my home design is more minimalism I have no intentions of being a minimalist but the clean open airy spaces that do not have too much going on really bring me peace of mind y'all so make sure y'all comment down below tell me what y'all think of the new kitchen nook refresh like i said this was me just starting on this area and i know i like to take my time on the pieces that i choose for my spaces and i think the table is definitely going to be my next focus <laughs> And a round table will definitely probably be the next thing that I focus on. Tell me what y'all think about the table situation. I think that y'all would agree. So tell me. I mean, this is, it's just, it's too much. It's too crowded. It's too small for how grand and bold that the chairs are. So definitely comment below. Tell me what y'all think. Consider this a part one of the kitchen nook makeover. Tell me what you think about the curtains as well. I like the whites. But I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm excited to like play around with color on this back wall. Just so many possibilities, y'all, and I am so excited. Again, I want to thank Castlery for sponsoring today's video, helping me make my house at home with sending me these beautiful chairs and this gorgeous, gorgeous rug. Who's ready to finally get this house decorated for all? We're not going to do a whole lot, but what we do, it's going to give us all the feels, and you know, you know I'm bringing the feels. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for spending your time with me. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.